What's up everybody, Mark with Coffee and Toys bringing you another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. Today, we have a special two-pack that I'm sure a lot of you have probably already received or are at least on the fence about. Maybe you're holding out for some better deals, but I gotta say, if you like Troop Builders, this is the pack for you. Of course, I am talking about the G.I. Joe Classified Series Steel Core two-pack. Let's talk about it. So yeah, I am a huge Steel Core fan. Can I call them Steel Brigade? I don't even know anymore. Obviously, I'm not talking about the Action Force uh, Valiverse Steel Brigade figure. I am talking about the G.I. Joe Classified, formerly known as Steel Brigade, now known as the Steel Core Troopers. So this two-pack is a deluxe two-pack from Hasbro. It cost approximately $45, I believe, uh, for the sale. I wound up getting three of them. Uh, just because I, I wanted some Steel Brigade. I had a Steel Brigade figure as a kid, like most of us did around that time. You know, I had the original one, not the later blue and green colored one, the more rare one of today, but that's okay because now I've got Steel Brigade, I'm sorry, Steel Trooper, uh, Steel Core Trooper rather, as uh, uh, in my classified collection. And I get a male and a female version, so that's very cool. Now. Before we get much further, I'm Mark, you're watching Coffee with Toys. If you go ahead and smash that like button, I really appreciate it. If this is your first time here, I review figures, probably why you stumbled upon this channel. And I look at the figure in the box and we talk about the packaging art, all that fun stuff, what's included in it. We unbox it because I am an out of box collector. And then we go through the figure, the articulation, the accessories, get them all geared up, maybe do some comparisons. And yeah, we decide together if we like this figure or if it's a pass. So, that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And yeah, with that being said, let's hop on over and check out Steel Core Troopers. All right, here we have it. G.I. Joe Classified Series, G.I. Joe Steel Core Troopers. Uh, it is a two-pack, of course, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. You do get a male and female trooper, which is very cool, building out those troops. Uh, here we have the pre-rendered image showing both troopers and the Statue of Liberty in the background. We see some Cobra trouble bubbles in the background, which we've already reviewed on this channel with the Televiper, so that's very cool to see. Also reminiscent of the 87 movie, where they're flying with their jetpacks. Uh, but in this case, it's the troopers and not the G.I. Joe specific team members. Over here, you can see the massive loadout that these uh, this figure set comes with. Lots of blast effects, lots of weapons, jump packs, you name it. And of course, we have the beautiful artwork down here on the side. So we'll spin it over to the side. We see that this the, they are number 95 in the series. This is crazy. We are getting so close to 100. I mean, we're at the doorstep of over 100 classified figures nearly. Uh, QR code, it does absolutely nothing. Hasbro, please fix this so it goes to the iconography that you clearly show below. Spinning it around to the back, we see that the Steel Core Troopers stand 6.1 inches and 5.9 inches in height. Uh, so yeah, about the average size of a Joe and just a little bit shorter for the female counterpart. We see some uh, looks, uh, details of the bandoliers on their uh, shoulder, the Steel Core logo and just more details on the chest. Of course, they come with this massive loadout that I mentioned earlier. And down here at the bottom, we can clearly see, uh, I'm very surprised that they printed the, the same iconography for both characters. I figured they'd just put one and be one and done. So either way, I'll go ahead and zoom in so you can look at one specific area of that. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to compare it on the screen uh, with the iconography. I'll put it up on the page, or on the video rather. Give you a few more seconds to check that out. And all right, let's go ahead and zoom back out. Finish up on the packaging by spinning around, getting a better view of that uh, Steel Brigade, or I'm sorry, Steel Core. That's gonna be hard to hard to get away from. Uh, I love this artwork, looks fantastic. I love the, the larger male trooper in the back and then the foreground, the uh, female trooper with the uh, large assault, assault rifle. Really digging that. And yeah, like I said, number 95 in the series. But that being said, it is more than just about the box. So let's get these figures out of the box and see what they're all about. And here we have them, the Steel Core 2-pack. We've got the female uh, trooper on the left and the male trooper on the right, as evident by the clearly uh, larger figure on the right and the slimmer figure on the left. And I am just, I am over the moon for these figures already, just seeing them out of the package. They are perfect, just like this. But let's start with the male one first. We have him right here. And of course he has articulation where you would expect it. 
Uh, this is a separate shoulder piece that is just uh, slid up the arm. He does have pinned elbows. This is a slightly older body, so it does have the pinned elbows, uh, pinned knees as well. Again, this is an older body. I believe this is a combination of, uh, this is mostly a beachhead body, I believe, just kind of looking through it real quick. I believe this is mostly beachhead, just with a new uh, head, some additional web gear, which we'll start with the, the helmet, because I want you guys to see it. This is actual a portrait, so it's not a helmet over a head. It's just an actual plug and play head. Give you a good look at the male. The female one's the same way, I believe, but we will check her out as well. But yeah, very cool. Sliding down, you see all the, the, the gear. There's the shotgun shells on the uh, right shoulder pauldron. Left shoulder, or left shoulder pauldron has the Steel Corps logo. Make sure to get a good zoom in on that so you can see it. Very cool. Moving down the body, of course, we have the web gear with the grenade. Got a, a knife sheath. Moving down, we have a holster for a pistol. For both pistols, actually, it looks like. Oh, I could be wrong. That's just uh, some extra web gear. It doesn't actually hold a pistol. Uh, articulated hands. I mean, this is, you, you know how this is by now. Uh, double jointed knees, they are pinned as I mentioned. He's got the drop down hips, cut at the thigh, and just moving down, we got the boot cut as well, and we have the rocker ankles. So that pretty much takes care of it for the male version of Steel Core. Let's go ahead, if I can get him to stand back up, and let's go ahead and check out the female version. Now, of course, like I said, that helmet is, this helmet is sm slightly smaller, so they did make a new cast for this helmet as well. And uh, yeah, she has similar but different armor. Obviously, you don't see the shotgun shells on this one, but she does have this additional, uh, looks like she's got some magazines here on her arm. And then we've got the same knife sheath, the same uh, smoke grenade or whatnot, and the same steel core logo on the, uh, the left shoulder. And she, uh, she has single jointed elbows. I'm, that's kind of, I don't like that, to be honest. I... I don't, my, you know, humans can move their arms further than that. So I, that's, that's one minus one for the, the female version of the steel, uh, steel core figure, in my opinion. But looking great otherwise, uh, I'm going to guess this is mostly the scarlet body just reused, at least from the, the waist down. I don't have scarlet anymore. I'm waiting for that retro one from the Walmart line. Uh, just wasn't a big fan of the 17-year-old the looking scarlet we got with series one, unfortunately. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we've got the, the same articulation going down the legs, got the uh, the thigh cut, drop down hips, uh, pinless knees, that's good. And I guess I should have pointed out these are pinless elbows as well. Same thing, we've got a holster for her pistol, uh, just extra web gear here. She does have a boot cut, uh, and then she's got the rocker ankles as well. Spin her around so you can take a quick look at the back. So yeah, pretty much standard issue for both figures. Um, I am thoroughly enjoying that. Zoom back out here. Now, of course, they come with a load of accessories. So we're just going to jump right into it. I'm not going to look at everything because there are some duplicates. But the big thing, literally and figuratively, is the jump pack. So they do come with the awesome jump pack that plugs directly into their back. It has holes in the bottom so you can put some uh, fire plumes, smoke plumes out. And of course the jump pack does say, uh, zooming in here, it's got some weathered uh, US flag. So that's very cool, JPU81GP. Not really sure what that might stand for. If you guys have an idea or something, you know you know some secret I don't, please drop it in the comments and let me know what you think that stands for. JP, I assume would be jump, but I don't know what 81GP is. Uh, so yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts and guesses. Like I said, there's holes in the bottom, so you can plug in some accessories. Now, they do come with a lot of weapons. So each of them comes with at least one pistol, and it's just cast in black. Nothing too fancy about that pistol. Zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Uh, no opening on the end, so you can have any effects, unfortunately. And then they, oh my gosh, just so many, so many things in here. Um, we do get... Uh, a scoped rifle. I'll zoom that out a little bit. In casting green and black looks very nice. Unfortunately, mine is warped, which is becoming more and more the case. It does come with a clip as well, which I'll have to find here in a minute that goes in there. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I think I already have. Let's see. Here's a here's one of the clips. Let's see if this is it. I feel like it goes maybe the other way. There we go. So that looks very cool. Got it clipped. Got that clip in there. 
uh, sorry, I'm moving a jump pack out of the way. We have a, a uh, rifle with a below uh, grenade launcher attachment. Now this does have holes in it as well, so you can uh, put the effects in it. And it has the same clip that goes in with uh, a lot of, I think all the clips are the same for these guns. So that's kind of nice. You can just slot it right in there and, and there you go. And again, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Normally they put a design on it that kind of helps me figure out which way it goes. But with these, I don't think it really matters a whole heck of a lot. So there you go. I like this gun. I like that one with the grenade attachment. Uh, and then finally we have a, uh, a very small, uh, almost a, um, I don't know if this is supposed to be a shotgun. A part of me thinks it's a shotgun because it's got this uh, extra handle right there. And again, same thing. It's got where you can put a clip in. I've got one more clip laying here, so let's just uh, let's just get it put in there. And there you go. So very, very cool. Lots of weapons. Um, just lots of stuff. I don't even know if... There's so many plume effects and gun effects. So here's some of the, the plumes you can put into the jetpack. And of course, just to show you, they, they plug right in. It's so you and they got a they're, they're warped out of the package, but it actually kind of helps in this case because it kind of gives that illusion of, you know, you can turn them any which way. And then if you, you know, if you take pictures, you can say, oh, it's turned this way and you can have your character, you know, flying off in that direction or you can, you know, turn them back so it's flying straight up. It's very cool. And you do get four of those. So for each jetpack, you'll have two. And then some various other ones that I'll just quickly showcase. These have been seen in the Viper 3 packs before, but there's the star one, the larger one that has the effect that you can actually plug back into it. We have the single piece of just smoke coming out of the barrel of a gun. We have some smaller just fire plumes like this or bullet shots, whatever you want to call it. My personal favorite is this one because I think it looks so cool, for, especially for an assault rifle. I think it looks really cool to have that action shot. And then this one's always kind of thrown me. I'm not really exactly sure what that's supposed to represent, but it does look cool. And yeah, the other things that we do have that I forgot to mention, uh, a few more things. We do have the knives for the figures. And of course they are just these simple knives that are not... You know, they are what they are. But I do like that they're cast in gray and black. That's very nice. And you get two of those. All right, what else do we have in here that I'm trying not to forget? I don't think I showed this plume. I like that one as well, just for a straight shot of a bullet. And then finally, we do get... Uh, make sure I grab both of them. Well, I don't know where the other one is, but there are... Oh, here it is. There are the alternate helmets, which these are, in my opinion, similar to the Steel Brigade Delta figure that came with a vamp back in the uh, 35th anniversary line of G.I. Joe. I believe that was right. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I do like that you can mix and match these helmets. So you, another reason why I bought three of these, because if I want to build out my troopers, I can have them wearing different uh, helmets. And gosh, yeah, there is just so much going on with this, this set that I love. But... Now that we've seen all the accessories, I'll come back. I will gear one of them up, try to make it completely different from the other one so you can see just kind of what they really look like. So give me just a second. Okay, I did gear them up a little bit. I did put them both with their jetpacks. I did put the uh, alternate portrait on the female head to give her uh, a little bit different vibe, and I actually really like that uh, gold steel core helmet a lot. And then I put the the larger assault rifles with the larger male body. Um, and I'm just loving these things. I mean, starting with the female this time. Uh, I just think this is really cool to see her, uh, you know, packing packing some, some doubles here and just being ready to fly up in the air and just start squeezing the trigger. Plus, I, you know, I really like the, the smaller handguns with her because with the single joint elbow, it's really difficult to get her to hold those in, a, a, in any pose other than just, I don't know. I think it looks better with with pistols in this case for for the female figure there you go you can see that jump pack of course on her back and they have good balance too for the most part um even after putting that uh, 
jump backpack on. It seems to stand up, as you can see, very well. And of course, the male. Um, also, I forgot to mention, I did put the knife in both uh, their sheaths on both figures, so you can see what that looks like. And of course, he is carrying the larger weapons and is also sporting the jump pack. Does not have the pistol because he loaned it over to the female uh, Steel Corps trooper. But again, looking very good. I mean, this is just a wonderful modern update of these figures that I myself cannot complain about whatsoever. They just look fantastic. They stand well. And I am just over the moon with these figures. But you guys tell me what you think. Drop me a comment down below. Have you picked up these figures? Are you going to pick them up? Were you waiting to see some more reviews before you made a decision? Or are you going to just hold on for a while? I believe there are some still available on Hasbro Pulse right now. Um... I've heard talk that, you know, people didn't want to get uh, the female trooper. And I think that's just a sad thing because that's an awesome figure in and of itself. It breaks up the monotony of just, you know, faceless masses of male figures. And plus, it comes with the alternate portraits. So you can like, you can have a squadron or is that squadron is not the right. You can have a squad uh, of these male and female figures. And kudos to Hasbro for giving us a two pack of these. I think that was a smart idea. Like I said, I picked up three of them. Uh, maybe I'll give one away. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Should I give that away and make it part of the 1,000 subscribers? I think I will. So make sure you're subscribed down there. Set the bell notification uh, to all notifications because I do a few videos a week. And I also do some top 10 lists and just other things I feel like talking about. Make sure you like the video. It really does help the channel out. And uh, yeah, I'm Mark. You've been watching Coffee with Toys. And I will see you later.